All right, have you ever wondered what's inside a 20-year-old water heater? Is it full of sand, like they say? I have no idea, so let's cut this thing open and see what's inside. This one was manufactured in 2003, and we had it approximately 20 years in our basement, so this might be interesting. I went all the way around and it's not separating, so I'm going to make a window here to see what these inner walls look like. to get through that second layer. So it's cut all the way around, but now this inner pipe, I gotta cut this thing. I don't know how thick this is. Sounds like maybe eighth inch or so. So now I can, got a hole big enough, I can get my saws all in there and cut that. Okay, all the way through. dump this water out of here and let's take a look at our thing. Actually, if I just do this, if I tip this over a little bit. I mean, there's almost nothing in here. That's just a solid bottom. There's a little bit. But, I mean, this stuff that's around the edge here is, it's only, it's, it's nothing. Not much. It's I'm really surprised. It's all metal. So I've always heard when you you don't drain these things, they're full of sand and sediment. Well, there's some sediment in there, but it is not what I've been told. And again, this is 20 years old. So, and we don't have a house filter on the water either. This is pretty 
pretty amazing. I'm just stupid myself. It's like a baffling type system as the water goes up. But look how clean these walls are on this inside of this metal tank. So you've got a layer of aluminum on the outside, some foam, and about an eighth inch core on the inside. Over here gas valve just goes under this chamber and it's basically like a grill in there it just heats it up pretty neat thanks for watching see you in the next one